Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can track how money is spent in your project plan. So first of all, let's create a small three task project. Before I do that though, it's going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Change the size, so I'll call it Project A. So I'll just have three tasks, task one, task two and task three. Let's get the message over. I'll just indent those tasks and give some durations two, two, three. And then I'll just highlight those and get them linked up so they follow on. And I'll format this to display task names next to the task. So that does that. So that's all that bit set. Now I need to create some resources. So I'll go down to the resource sheet and just create couple of resources we'll go for bill and then and paper and let's say for well, papers material so it's going to be a consumable and let's say it's going to be one pound per pack so pack is what I'm going to put on there Oops. pack and then the people let's say 10 pound and 15 pound overtime and just pull that down for both of them they're on the same amount pull that down so that's the resources now if i go back to the gantt chart i can allocate resources go up to the resource tab assign resources so i'll assign bill and ben to that first task and just bill to the second one and then third one all three of them paper included and this is how you do consumables, by the way. So it's one pack at a pound. If I do, we want it per hour, so they're going to use a pack of paper per hour. You go one forward slash HR for hour, and then should that should change to eight. Um, it would be eight per hour. That's a three day task, so that's correct. Three days. And it caught me out that day. I was expecting that to be eight. Close that down. So that's all the stuff allocated. Now what I need to do is save a baseline. So you save a baseline when you are ready to go. You've done all your resources and everything. So save baseline, set baseline. You've got 11 baselines all together. The first one doesn't have a number, but there you go. That's that first one. Save. Now what will happen there is if I go to the cost table for view tables cost, it's taken a snapshot there. Look, that column would have been blank a minute ago. As soon as I save a baseline, it populates. Now, whatever you do now, it's measuring against that baseline. So normally what I would do is change this Gantt chart altogether. So I'm going to change it to the tracking Gantt. So I'll go to task Gantt tracking, that one. And then change the table to the tracking table. Tracking, that one. So you get all these little columns there. So I usually insert a few columns here to make it easier to get your head around what's going off. So at the moment we haven't got the baseline start column, so I'm going to insert that. Insert column. I want baseline start, that one. I want um, baseline finish, and I want baseline duration. Baseline finish, make sure you get the right one. And baseline duration, so I've got a bit of an idea of what the plan was obviously if you are doing multiple baselines you would have to do multiple tables save different tables and if i just push this across a little bit what i also want to do is insert you've got cost fields here actual cost i want to insert a column there and just put um, baseline cost so then i know what that is so baseline cost there. so that's the actual planned cost for this project now if you want to create your own field which i like to do to work out whether you're over budget or within budget you can do that by just simply right clicking and going into custom fields what you've got here are 30 blank hex columns that you can customize you've also got at the top there loads of other ones you can customize but let's focus on this I'm going to rename this first off. 
I'll call it over under spend. That's what I'm going to name it, but it'll still be called text one as well. So you can search for it as text one. Now, the formula I want to put in there is an if function, which is under functions and general. I, I, F, immediate if. Just get rid of everything in there. So I need to basically get it to do this. So you go to field cost. So if actual cost equals zero, comma, quote, quote, do nothing. Otherwise, I want baseline cost, cost, baseline cost, and then the first baseline cost minus actual cost, cost, actual cost. Then OK to that, OK to that, OK to that, and then you need to insert that column. So if you just right click insert column, type T for text. There she blows. So it's all blank at the moment because there's no actual cost. Now, the way I would do this is there's lots of different ways there. You've got the actual duration column sitting there. So this task one was meant to be taking two days. Let's say that it actually took three days. And then you can see there that there's a, a negative in there. You're 160 pound over. That's the two people's wages at 80 pound each day. Now, if I come onto this one, that was also meant to be two days. If I say that was one day, that's only cost you 80 pound. You're 80 pound over, and that's how it's working. You don't have to do this column, but basically that's what you can do. There are project fields that do a similar thing to that, and you can see. Um, how that works earn value would do that earn value tables would do that but i like to do it myself and then this one if i just say this was four days what's the impact on that you can see the impact on that minus 148 over budget and you can also go in there and set graphical indicators as well if that's a negative number you can have it a red sad face and if it's over a positive number you could have it set to a smiley face let's show you where that is i've got other videos where that is set up these down the bottom there you can have that set up so just click OK to that so this is all I want to talk about in this little video how project will spend the money and now you can see it you must save a baseline and then you need to come into the tables where you can see the actual impact of you updating your project plan so tracking it basically and then you can see the impact there and the last thing I did there was just customize the field so you can see how you can do formulas, in this case, an immediate if, to get yourself a result. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.